so good afternoon we're getting ready for our next game which is going to be sweden versus argentina my name's robert quadriguez and with me here we have julia childless thank you very much sir i'm extremely excited to be here on the mic with yourself thank you very much. Uh, like you said we are seeing uh, argentina sweden right now we've had a couple of really excellent close bouts today and a couple of pretty pretty decent blowout bouts i think you'd describe them as but uh, everybody coming out playing very hard um, bringing a lot of energy to this and so it's going to be really awesome to see for the rest of the day we're doing these really short bouts just getting a feel for what everybody's doing and then tomorrow we're going to move into the uh, full uh, regulation bouts. Exactly that. I mean, obviously, being here at the Men's Royal Adobe World Cup, we have 15 teams from all around the world. So in order to ensure that they get the right level of play to progress them through the rankings, uh, we're ensuring that there are 30-minute bouts today. There will be no um, timeouts. Um, official timeouts will happen, but the clock will still run. Correct. So if they finish um, in the whole 30 minutes, then that's the end of the game. The and then we have stands. a little change in penalties uh, for today again, correct? You are very right, Julia. Instead of the standard seven penalties and then you failed out, we have got four penalties right. today, which and makes we, it harder. We haven't really seen a lot of penalties happening, to, to be honest. When I've been watching the bouts, there haven't been a ton of really bad penalty. You know, I don't think I've ever see, I've seen anyone foul out yet today, for example. So... I've not seen anybody foul out, but I have seen um, um, quite a few close calls. Right. Anything, during the game I was just um, announcing, which was uh, Team Japan versus Team Scotland, um, the Japanese put on quite the show. If anything, they, they were real crowd favourites, but the problem was that they were just having a bit of a problem. When they were going to the penalty box, they were actually taking off their uh, the uh, jammer panties, oh, which geez. was making it really, really hard <laughs> to get them back on, so they were secure and they were often popping off on track, which right. is a shame, but okay. they were doing really well. Okay, so for both teams, uh, both Sweden and Argentina, this will be their second bout of the day. Uh, we had Sweden versus the Netherlands, where I believe it was the Netherlands who uh, took the win in that game. And first uh, opening uh, game, which was Argentina versus England, which uh, saw England taking the win. But very surprising tactics from uh, Team Argentina. You can tell that from their country. They play a lot of roller rink, um, roller hockey. Exactly. And they were really in there with the hits, and it really surprised Team yeah. England. So that was really good to They're see. They're a very, very physical team. Uh, they're playing with a really short roster. If, if you're you at home, um, they're only playing with about eight people. Yeah. And so... Uh, they're, I expect, very tired at this point, but they're hitting very hard and they're coming out with a lot of energy and a lot of physicality for these bouts. So what they're lacking someplace, they are making up with a, uh, keeping people on their toes as far as that physical contact that they're making. Okay, we're getting ready for our first uh, jam, so let's introduce our teams. From Team Argentina, we have skater number 10, Chispita. Skater number 28, Sanchez. Skater number 5, Optimus Quad. Skater number 666, The Beast. Skater number 8, El Pibe. Skater number 930, Guevara. Skater number 99, Nino Acido. And skater number D2, Ser Artu. Okay, and from Team Sweden, and I apologize in advance for any mispronunciations, please feel free to tweet us and let us know. Rajaret, Mick Yager, Block Watson, Enjoy Boy, Mr. Nice Guy, Exploit, Sweet Jackie, Kick Ass Crutzen, Badger Badger, Helvis, Mega Watt, Runner Up, Old Nerdy Bastard, and Yada Yada. And we are on to the action. D2 jamming for Team Argentina. And I can see that we have both jammers actually being called to the penalty box. What, um, skater um, CR2 for a cut track penalty. So right off the bat, we're going to have a couple of jammers in. Everything's going to stop briefly, and then they're probably going to be released out of the box here once they've both sat their exact amount of time. And so we have number 404 out there, Exploit, from Sweden. Coming out of the pack first, but not picking up Lee Jammer as he picked up that penalty just a minute ago. And so he will start. So we'll have a two-minute jam here. And that is uh, for Sweden jamming skater number 404, Exploit. Skater Sierra 2 emerges from the pack. He is now on his initial pass. Exploit comes through from the hips of Guevara and picking up a full five points. And like we said, a full two-minute jam, so they're just going to keep looping until they can score. Looks like he's taking the inside track, D2, jumping around. Sweden trying to catch him, but not able to, and so he is going to pick up five big points, or excuse me, four points on his way through. Exploit also picking up four points. 
And the pack slowing way, way down, giving their skaters a chance to catch up a little bit and trying to reset to get a little physical and try and stop them. Exploit not having any problem coming back through and picking up four more points, followed closely by D2. This pack, Argentina seem to be, uh, their wall seems to be holding at the back, Sweden at the front getting ready to catch uh, Exploit. There's one of those big hits we were talking about earlier. Definitely, Exploit gets taken down and the jam comes to its natural conclusion. So, uh, so like we said, the clock is still running. Um, they're just going to switch out and keep the clock running and we're going to keep the day moving along here. Okay, so um, one of our sponsors for the day is Fast Girl Skates. Their knowledge staff represents all facets of roller derby. Uh, WFTDA, USARS, uh, and the MRDA, JRDA, and Banked. They can relate and have what you need. Larger selection of skating gear for everyone, women, men, juniors. It's about you. Okay, and we are back to a jam here. Fast start here for number 76. Megawatt from Argentina, but number eight from our, excuse me, from Sweden, number eight from Argentina, El Pibe coming out on the lead jammer end of things. El Pibe in uh, Argentinian, I believe, translates to the guy, and he is the guy <laughs> well, right he, now. He's the guy right at this second, yeah. He's booking around that track. It looks like we still have Sweden caught at the back of the track behind all those stripes, not able to break free, so El Pibe taking advantage coming around and getting a look. Oh, getting a big push out from Sweden, and they are going to make it really hard for him to come back in. That was 221B block Watson. I mean, as you can see, all these Swedish players on track currently are massive in, in stature, and El Pibre is quite a small skater. It's making it harder for them to get contact with him. Yeah, definitely. They look like Swedes. <laughs> Yeah, El Pibe, really impressive. He did take that hit, but after that, he managed to stay on his skates, and they did a little, you know, bouncing around with him in the middle there, but he, he just said, no, I'm coming through, so he picked up his extra points. And when you're that tall, it's really hard to make contact with someone short, especially if they can keep their frame low to the ground and you don't know exactly where they are, so it's hard to make contact with them. In fact, when you're that tall, it's hard to not make contact with the head, but there you go. <laughs> And so for Argentina, we have Lee Jammer, and that is Sierra too. Looks like he is the only Jammer on the track moving right now. Sweden caught behind Argentina, number 61. That is Kickass Kratz, and he is going to come back around, making good time to try and catch up once again. Again, the same strategy of Argentina holding the back line, forcing their way through. Sierra R2 gets through the front and calls off point and calls off the jam, sorry. Current scores as we stand are Argentina in the lead with 29 points and Sweden with 17 points, 25 minutes on the clock. Like to give a shout out uh, for our Team Sweden player got injured just before this trip. What a sad thing that is. Slutty Summer not able to be here, but wants to give everybody a shout out. Wishes team well, and I'm sure they miss you very much. Would like to have you here on their lineup with them. On track, we have exploit for Team Sweden jamming. He's been taken to the outside of the track. El Pibe, in the meantime, has made it all the way through and is lead jammer. El Pibe has emerged from the pack and has picked up a full complement of points, including the point for exploit. Team Sweden trying to regroup now as they have several people released from the penalty box and looks like Argentina trying a little a little whip with their arms there, but it didn't quite work. But it does allow their player to come back through, so just Pita coming back through the pack, looping again. And it looks like Team Sweden's player still caught in the back there. Number 404 exploit, not able to break through. And it looks like he has a penalty, so he will be headed to the penalty box. This will be an Argentinian power jam. Good hit there by Team Sweden, using the hips to get El Pibe to the outside of the track. El Pibe safely recycles behind his own pack. Yada yada, using one of those little butt bumps that the tall guys use. Oh. 
And Argentina have a blocker sent to the box for a destruction of Pac Major. Sweden trying to chase him down. That's number eight runner up trying to chase him down and doesn't quite catch him. So they're going to just him and yada yada on the track trying to hold off the jammer. And it looks like the rest of Argentina is just going to let him do his thing and handle it on his own. And it looks to me like he's going to run out this jam clock, which he does. And it looks like Argentina is probably going to start on the power jam, at least for a couple of minutes here when they start out. And it looks like there's an official timeout. They're going to leave the clock run. Your current score, 74 to 17 in favor of Argentina. So let's take this time to uh, talk about some of our sponsors here at the Men's Roller Derby World Cup. We have Green Monster Roller Sports, all new. Visit us today at their website, greenmonster.com. That's G-R-N-M-N-S-T-R.com. So time out Sweden while well, that's going on. Do we have a couple of updates on some of these other? We are going to be uh, streaming the whole thing for the next two and a half days. And so we're going to try and give you a couple updates on scores. Um, obviously, a lot of people tuned in for that USA bout. Uh, they took Finland 314 to zero earlier. Uh, Canada uh, 255 over 20 in that one to over Belgium. Belgium. Mm -hmm. Uh, looks like Argentina, England. That was a big bout this morning that happened. Argentina obviously playing today. They lost to England, uh, 51 to 158 on that. So we've also had games with Ireland and France. Uh, Ireland picking up 30 points. France picking up 145. And the game earlier was Sweden and the Netherlands. It looks like it was an extremely close one. That was Sweden at 72 points. The Netherlands 101. I did catch a couple of minutes of that, and it was pretty exciting. And, and I know people are saying there's a lot of discrepancies in the scores and things like that, but these are 30-minute quick bouts. We're just getting a feel for what everybody can do. Everybody has a chance to play everyone else and kind of feel it out and see what it's like. And then tomorrow we're going to start a lot more of that tight bracketing you were talking about earlier. I mean, it's important that obviously these teams all get the opportunity to play each other because obviously as a you know, men's roller derby is still practically in this grand scheme of things still a new sport. Exactly. These teams will benefit from playing from stronger teams. It'll be a natural progression. It'll be great. Yeah. And we have El Pibe for Argentina picking up lead jammer. The only jammer on the track right now. So he's going to try and Take advantage of this beginning power jam right off the bat. Sweden trying to take him out. Sweet Jackie, not quite making it, but he does slow him down a little bit. So LP Bay trying to get forward, getting a push through and assist, and he's going to pick up lead jammer. Meanwhile, Sweden is released from the box, and their jammer is back out on the floor. Number 404 exploit being held back by Argentina's line. A direction of gameplay there is going to put one of Argentina in the box. Both jammers have emerged, and El Pibe has decided to call off the jam. That was a great call for El Pibe because you could tell that, you know, the line was getting tired. Sweden was going to break through. He just breaks it. They reset. They have a chance to rest everybody for a minute and then figure out what their next move is going to be. I'm extremely impressed with the uh, tenacity that Argentina are bringing to the track right now because, like we say, they have only got eight skaters, so they're not pulling any punches. They're going full force. Oh, I agree completely. They're doing a great job. Sweden just barreling through number 13. That's I'm sorry, I lost Yeager. track of my list. <laughs> Mick Yager coming through, but unfortunately Argentina managing to squeeze through. That is skater number 10, Chispita. Chespita takes him a chest block, goes to the outside and calls off the jam. Argentina is so fast and their jammers are so small. And we've just been given a little note here saying that El Pibe has actually been skating since the age of seven. Wow. If only we could all be that lucky. Right. Well, and I, I find it's really interesting. I find that when I talk to talk to the guys about skating, a lot of them have been skating since they were kids and they, they seem more comfortable in skates than they do on their feet, really. That you know, true. and I always think that's, I, I get on skates every once in a while, I just fall down. Some of the histories of these skaters, though, here at this event today, we've got champion speed skaters, champion roller hockey skaters, and all of these facets bring to their game yep. they're bringing. On the track for, uh, for Argentina, we have Sia Atu. He is your lead jammer. Looks like 76 for Sweden, headed to the penalty box. Mega Watt. 
Jamming for Sweden, we have skating number 61, Kikas Krutsen. Krutsen has emerged from the pack. And has passed one of Argentina's skaters, so he will be picking up points. CR2 taken to the outside there by Old Nerdy, but he has come back on. I love how he tries to take out one of Sweden's players, Old Nerdy Bastard, right on the corner, and it, it doesn't even look like Old Nerdy moves. He just kind of stands there. Crutzen taken to the inside, but he's recycled back and he's making his way through the pack again. Takes a hit from El Pibe. Only one more Argentinian blocker to pass, but he's taken again to the outside, so he's safely recycling himself. Optimus Quad waiting at the back in order to uh, meet uh, Crutzen as he comes through. Sweden finally breaking free along the outside there. Knutson kind of taking his time, being chill. And it looks like that jam is called off. You were talking earlier about the, the style of skaters and a lot of, a lot of the women who skate. I know I talked to them and it's some of them it's the first sport they've played. You know, the first kind of physical team sport they've been involved in. And a lot of the guys have picked up some of those. You see the styles come through in their skating, you know, hockey, speed skating, jam skating, you know, figure skating we talked about earlier. And a lot of these guys have all those things and you see that style leak into their roller derby style of play. So that's always interesting to kind of find out what their background is. Definitely. And I mean, obviously, as we've said before with Argentina, Whatever they played, <laughs> it was heavily compact. Just squeeze through that little space. It's unbelievable. Number 10, once again, Tespita coming through. And it looks like Sweden, number 404, headed to the penalty box. That's exploit. So he will sit for a couple of seconds there. Tespita on the power jam for Argentina. Tespita with a massive hit there. Takes down somebody who was attempting to um, backwards block him. And he's through for another four point, five points, sorry. Fun fact, if you want to visit any of the gentlemen in Sweden, when you go there, you will not go to Stockholm because none of them are from Stockholm. Sweden is not that big a place. A lot of action there. It's just been to um, moves through on the outside of the track as Argentina held with a massive sweep. Looked like there was a little pushing and shoving there, a little confusion as to what was going on, and now... One of Sweden's players trying to chase him down, but not quite able to do it. Yada Yada has to let him go. That's Guevara. He's been sent to the penalty box for a multiplayer block. That is Rafael Guevara, otherwise known as Sin Diesel, who normally plays for the uh, homicide out in Baltimore, the Harm City homicide. I know I talked to him when he was deciding if he wanted to try out for, because he's from Argentina, and he said he didn't know whether he wanted to try out for Team USA or Team Argentina, and he thought his mom would really like it if he played for Team Argentina, so he did. Stockholm does not have a men's roller derby league, correct? Oh, so there isn't a full there isn't a full men's roller derby league in Sweden. These players are all from different leagues and have formed this team for their for their country. This might help boost men's roller derby in Sweden. I'm all for that. All of you folks in Sweden that are listening, recruit the guys for roller derby. <laughs> we are currently seeing another official timeout. Currently, it looks to be uh, for some track maintenance. Obviously, these two tracks uh, for the Men's Roller Derby World Cup being heavily used throughout today's gameplay. OK, then, so this jam will be brought to you by Roller Derby City, Europe's largest supplier of Roller Derby kit and merch. Our track today is being sponsored by Quad Roller Skate Shop. They have the best selection and most stock of any store on the continent with excellent consultation services only a few ska a fellow skater could provide. We've got all your needs covered. We love this game, and so do we. 
I think we have our first foul out. I will wait to confirm that, but I believe that is exploit skater 404 for Sweden. Looks like he is leaving the track, so we'll try and find out what's happening there. It was. We have now got that confirmed. It was a foul out. Unfortunately, obviously, with there being four penalties, it does make it very easy to obviously get a foul out. Okay, so on track we have skater number 10, Chispita for Argentina, Lee Jammer. Three blockers for Sweden on track. Argentina working very hard to keep skater number three from Sweden. That's Enjoy Boy as Goat at the back of the pack, making it easy for Chispita to get through. Yeah, and when you think about it, that foul out, I mean, that, that would be your average for that half. You know, that would only give you three for the next half if you were doing a full bout. So at the seven, you know, you would only have three for that next half. So something to really keep an eye on in such a short amount of time. And notice, obviously, that uh, Exploit was the, uh, uh, has, has been in this game so far, a predominant jammer. So that does leave Sweden at a disadvantage. Jamming for Team Sweden, he has skated number 13, Nick Jaeger. Just barreling his way through Argentina's pack. He's not even thinking strategically. He's just like, I'm bigger than you. I'm going to go through. I like that technique. I like to call it the blammer. Yeah, that, that's yeah, that's exactly it. Mickey Yeager goes down, but he does actually, unfortunately, cut the track. So this is now an Argentinian power jam. Argentina picking up a number of power jams. Mick Yeager skating with a couple of broken ribs today, apparently, so they probably have him taped up pretty tight. Chespita returning to track, but unfortunately picks up a looks like, penalty. Looks like we're playing a little uh, penalty box musical chairs, and there is going to be a timeout called just briefly and they're going to try and sort out what happened it looks like the refs are going to chat about that for a minute as soon as we get an update we will make you aware so in the meantime broadcast donations if you're enjoying listening drop us a few quid dollars zati yen whatever you fancy using the link on the broadcast page now this will be split 50 50 between us and the team's travel phones so this is just to help the, and just to be clear we don't mean all. us the announcers oh, no, 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 although no. we'll take our cut no uh, everybody here is a volunteer even the players do not get paid so these this goes to help with our facility costs um, the cost of having equipment here and being able to set up and uh, feed the players and things like that and also the other part to get players actually here and then home again so Nice little juke there by Mick Yeager as he as he comes through the uh, pack and is your lead jammer for Sweden. Badger Badger with an assist in order to sweep Argentina, but Mick Yeager is stuck behind a three wall from Argentina. They are working so well. They are so tight. They're working to get the jammer to the inside, to the outside as many times as they possibly can. And it works because it's just tiring Mickey Yeager out. <laughs> Mickey Yeager managed to um, get up from the floor and he's gone through as a no pass no penalty. <laughs> I don't know if everybody's heard, but there is a beard contest happening. Somebody is blogging beards this weekend, and so um, Sweden pretty convinced, I guess. I have heard that they are pretty convinced they're going to win that contest. Uh, Although, oh, sorry, please no, 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 go ahead. Our resident blogger uh, for the Men's Roller Derby World Cup is um, <laughs> is uh, compiling all the pictures of the best beards in order to have this competition. Unfortunately, I won't be in that competition. Well, neither will I, thank goodness. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, Canada has some pretty impressive beards, I have to say. That is indeed. So, And then I, I have to pick my, my personal favorite, uh, TJ Binkley from Team USA. He does have one of the most impressive beards that I've ever seen. So I, I hate to choose sides, but... Now, obviously, while we're taking pictures here of beards at home, if uh, you look us up on Instagram under the Men's Roller Derby World Cup, please share your photos of yourself enjoying the cup wherever you are, and they might make it onto the stream here. 
We have a guy that looks those over, so. We have a vote from our, our resident producer that he thinks that Badger Badger has a, a shot at the best beard contest, yeah. Am I right in saying that Badger Badger's beard is multicolored? It's, it's quite it, fabulous. Is it multicolored through, um, you know, personal hygiene, or is it multicolored through age? Okay. Is it an aged beard? That's, this is a question we'll have to ask then. <laughs> the important questions that happen here at the Men's Royal Derby. During a timeout, yeah. Official timeouts <laughs> leave lots of time for questions like, like beards, so... Our current points stand at Argentina with a steady lead there of 138 points to Sweden with 40 points and just a little under eight minutes left in this current half, in this current game, sorry, uh, 30 Yeah, indeed. Game. I think it's kind of what makes roller derby fun. We're able to have fun as well as announce this awesome sport we're a part of. Guys are usually very cool with fun things like that. Okay, we are back to the action. Looks like... Good heaven, sweet Jackie trying to keep back Argentina's jammer, and he succeeds as Sweden breaks out of the pack and picks up lead jammer number 76. Mega Watt coming through. He San takes. Sanchez following uh, Argentina's jammer, following him through, and is fighting at the front of the pack in order to get points. Looks like Mega Watt has picked up a bat block penalty, so this is an Argentinian power jam. So number 28, Sanchez. Uh, and I'm not, is this his first time on the jam? I believe it is, yes. So he's going to pick up five big ones there on his way through. Sweden trying to reset as Sanchez works on his power jam here. I know that Chespita and El Pibe have picked up a couple of penalties, so they're probably uh, resting them for a bit. Right. It makes good sense. Argentina have spent quite a bit of money in order to be here for this weekend and we're just proud to have them here as we are with the rest of the 15 teams that are making up this men's roller derby world cup well I'm so impressed so far with with uh, Birmingham and how they've handled all of this they took on this huge tournament all these people coming into town all the organization it's taking so all the people that made the trip and spent the money and took the time to get here and then in, indeed Birmingham for allowing all, us all to be here and hosting us. In all honesty, we've um, had the Men's European Roller Derby Championships here for the last two years, so it's all been in preparation for this big event. Oh yeah. We are very proud to be the um, home city that are bringing the Men's Roller Derby World Cup. Sanchez coming back through with five more points. Taking huge advantage of that power jam as Megawatt comes out of the box just as that jam is ending. Sanchez is able to pick up huge points on that jam as he just rocks it through. So your current score, 168 to 44 in favor of Argentina. Currently, Jama is El Pibe for Argentina. Sweden, number 61. Knutsen stuck behind Argentina's blue stripey wall. He manages to sneak around on the inside, but is overtaken by Guerrera. But he has to let him go. He is too far out of bounds. And as he breaks through, it looks like El Pibe catching up with him. They are doing a little jammer on jammer action, picking for their spots. And somebody calls off that jam, and we are done. So no points for Sweden on that one. Let's have a little talk about the Men's Roller Derby Association, as they would like to wish all the teams competing in the Men's Roller Derby World Cup the best of luck this weekend. The Men's Roller Derby Association is the international governing body for men's flat track roller derby and wants you to join them in the growing world of men's roller derby. For more information about joining and the benefits of being part of the MRDA, visit them at mensrollerderbyassociation.com or send inquiries to info at mensrollerderbyassociation.com. It's also a good place to get updates on what's happening in the league and the association association and who's new and who's in and Castillo on his first time at the jam for Argentina zipping through up against yada yada and that jam, that was jam was very fast
Just a little over three minutes left in this game. Argentina have proved that from the game that they played with England, that they're bringing the physical game to this tournament. Sweden breaking out, picking up Lee Jammer. That's number 76 megawatt. Just beats it for Argentina, picking up a bat block and is going to the penalty box. So power jam for Sweden. Uh, they could really use it to help close up that point differential that's been happening on the board. So hopefully he can take advantage of that and pick up a few extra points. I love how Argentina has adapted to the styles of players that they're playing. You know, they were coming out hitting really big earlier and they're and they're still doing that and Sweden's a big team but I think they figured out early on that hitting really hard on Sweden is not going to do them as much good. Sweden's pretty big, they're pretty solid so they're doing a lot more maneuvering this time. Obviously watching the team Argentina play you'll notice that when they go in for a block you've got a person bracing them, holding them right next to them and that provides for an even bigger hit. Right. Megawatt trying to push his way through, find a hole. Argentina falling up in front of him, trying to build that multi-man wall. And oh my goodness, one of Sweden's players coming in hot, taking out the wall. It looks like that was old Nerdy that came through, I believe. Your next bout on this track will be Germany versus France, so stick around for that. And of course, a little quick mention, of course, to the cup that all these teams are duking it out for. It is the Spirit of Roller Derby Cup, and the little figurine on top is called the Apex Rex. It is made out of pewter, and it has been kindly made by derbyjewelry.co.uk. Does each player get to take it home, eat cereal out of it if they want? <laughs> the little player on the top is actually modeled after one of the Crash Test Brummies own players, that's Rex Tangle, doing an apex jump <laughs> and landing it successfully, which he, he can do. Number 61, Knutsen once again on his way around as the jammer for Sweden, and he will call off that jam after picking up a few points. Getting a bad glare off of that, so a couple of points for him. In this next jam for Argentina, we have skater number 10, that is just Peter. And this looks like it'll probably be the last jam of this game. See if anybody can pick up a few extra points and get you a final score. This jam will be brought to you by GBEMS, the only UK RDA endorsed medical team. Mick Yager being recycled to the back of the pack by number 99, Nino Acido. He is able to break back out, but not before Castillo calls off that jam. That is the end of this bout, 176 to 59, your final score. And with that whistle, this game has come to a conclusion. A grand victory there for Team Argentina. So please join us next for Germany versus France. I am Julia Chavez alongside Robert Rodriguez here on my left. Thank you for joining me, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening.